Yay, hey, hello everyone, my name is Udo Blessing and today on QTAI we are going to be treating a very very interesting topic how to create the love shape. There's love in the air. Mm, oh my god, tell someone beside you I love you. you know? uh, you know what what to think of it? Telling the guy, alright, let's go on. I'm gonna open a new document. Alright, uh, to be a square, 1024 by 1024. Right, okay. So let's come up. Yes, so we're going to draw two circles. The first circle let to be 400 pixel. All right. Let me change the, the color of the circle to red. It said that is the law, color of la. Uh, uh, it depends on the way you see it, anyways. That's my opinion. Doesn't mean blue can be color of love. Why can the color of the depends on how you interpret it. That's my own opinion anyway. Alright, so let's change this to 400. Okay, so that's good. And let's duplicate it. And let's duplicate it. Alternate, then let's click and drag to the side with your shift. Alright, so let's create a rectangle too. Or a square of a square, a square, a square, technically a square. Yes, let's let's just split a square. Pardon me, I said it's square. Click on shift and drag. Let's make this square 500. Okay, 500. Is that looking good? Alright, so we're going to slant the square by 45 degrees. Yes, that's good. Then you, you shift up. And what you're looking for is that you want your square to, to really, really. Right to the side by pressing shift, just shift it up and you get the point. All right, make sure that your smart guide is on. Yes, okay, so just make sure that you shift it. It must be, yes, it must be at the edge. All right, let's take the other side. Okay, so that's what we want. And this, this little guy up there. Let's bring him down by pressing shift to bring him down. And I still bring him down a little bit. Alright, so to leave him to almost get the outline of the shape. Then yeah, just click on shift and tap it down. One, two, three, four, five. Maybe six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Tap it ten times. Okay, so we're pressing that. So the down that thing I would like you to do again. Alright, is to come here, click on alternate, make your pen tool active, we click on alternate, and you see something like an inverted uh, triangle, then you let's click and drag. It brings the icon point out. Okay, so you can drag and put it in this way. Put it in this way. Yes. Okay, just a little bit slanted. Okay. So you want to make you release then you you drag the anchor point again. You do the same for here. Like that, like so. You release then you drag the anchor point again. Alright, so now what we want to do is to make everything together now. Alright, so we need to make everything but the problem is yeah, it looks a little bit wonky. So I don't want that. You can fix that by coming here and dragging this out. I fix this one by coming in and dragging it out. See how it looks. Still looks a little bit wonky. So, the best thing to do is to probably get rid of it. Get rid of it. Still a little bit wonky. Okay, so let's shift this one out. Alright. Look in the shape. Hold the shape also. Where it looks wonky, where it will work on. So, that's the 
So now we've been able to completely draw it. Then you can just work a little bit more on it. Let's work a little bit more on it. That can look perfect for whoever you want to do it for. Smart that sometimes can be so big. All right, so quickly we've been able to draw the love shape. So what you do, the next is to come to your library, create a new library. Then put it in your library. Alright, so anytime you need it, you will able to go there and get your love for your design. Alright, thank you for at least giving me your time today. I'll see you in the next video.